What's up guys? Uh, just want to show you some footage today from Max's gym. Went out there and did some squats with Max Aeda. Uh, probably one of the best squatters in the 220 weight class. Um, and just very good coach, very technically proficient in everything he does. Uh, we have a lot of the same philosophy, so it's always good to get out there, talk to him a little bit, learn from him, and just push myself. Um, squatting with Max is a very humbling experience because he's a very technical lifter so although we may squat the same amount of weight um, in competition his squats are just prettier cleaner and you can learn a lot just by watching them and then actually getting there and being able to talk to him um, is just a real treat and then uh, besides that you go to a gym that he him and his wife uh, Joanne created and it's just one of those environments that just uh, you know, you, you kind of go there to become better. You kind of go there to become a, a world-class lifter. And he has a lot of those in there. He has people getting ready for Master Nationals, Olympic weightlifting, in a couple weeks in Dallas, Texas. He has one of the best 165-pound powerlifters in the world. He has one of the best 158-pound USAPL powerlifters in the world. And uh, Max himself is an elite, accomplished powerlifter who's been doing this training in this game for roughly you know 10 years 15 years something along those lines where he's been everywhere he's uh, done training camps with the Bulgarians he's done squat every day he's done a lot of stuff to where he has the knowledge and the experience to where he's able to guide and kind of show you what he's learned along the way and I think far too many times you get coaches that are just set in one way and they think that that's the only way to do it where you know you go to a gym and you meet somebody like Max and you realize fast that you know there's a lot to be learned and uh, by having one train of thought throughout your whole lifting career is you're just limiting yourself and the possibilities of what you're able to do so going out there getting my butt kicked by Max with a couple guys from the CSA gym um, two of them right there Brad and Drew uh, Brad just did some accessory work Drew actually squatted with us Today was high bar close dance, uh, the, probably my worst exercise, um, but I was happy. Hit 474 right here um, for five reps. Um, did five sets of five, uh, not with this weight, but pyramided up. This was my top set, um, and everything felt really good. Uh, trying to keep my legs underneath me a lot more so I can get more quads out of it, but. As you can see, I do tend to round over my upper back a lot, and that's just something that is one of the reasons why I do a lot of high bar is to keep my hips underneath the bar to reinforce more quad drive and to keep a better upright position. Um, me and Max were talking about it today. If I can learn how to get stronger and better in a more upright position when I go to low bar, the carryover will be that much better. Uh, here's Max's wife, Joanne. She teaches a lot of the women's strength classes and uh, Olympic classes. She's actually getting ready for the uh, Master Nationals in uh, Dallas, Texas uh, a couple weeks out. And then here's Max. As you can see, a lot of Max's lifts, they look exactly the same. Whether it's heavy or whether it's, it's light, you'll notice that technically he's proficient in everything he does. So that way you just know when you miss, it's typically a strength issue and not so much a technical issue. Whereas here you can kind of see twisted a little bit, a little bit of a helicopter, but no big deal. He still got the weight, he still moved it. Everything he did today was beltless. So it was, it was awesome to see him move. It's awesome to see Joanne do her thing. Uh, she's one of the best whenever she puts in the time and you know, it shows. She's uh, proficient, she moves fast, she moves well. Um, after high bars, we did some pause squats. Wasn't able to film that. Uh, because I had some issues with the memory card, so I had to delete all that. But did uh, five sets or four sets of three pause squats, and then one drop set of uh, just touch and go, or not touch and go, but just reps. Uh, did six reps with the 385, and then we did three sets of five to six reps here with stiff leg deadlifts. Um, just work. I used the heels here, that way I didn't have to use a deficit, and I didn't feel like bringing pairs of shoes to Max's gym. Uh, it's just a great experience. It's a great vibe. It's one of the best gyms I've been to as far as breeding, uh, you know, competitive, good lifters that are there to help each other and there to make themselves better. Uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram, Tony Montgomery Jr. Follow Max's Gym on Instagram, and you can also follow Max Ieda and Joe Ieda on Instagram. 
and uh, they'll post everything about their lifters and everything they have going on. So until next time, guys, take care.